Good evening, and welcome to the training classroom at Legend Acres. And today, we're going to talk about how to safely break up a dog fight. Okay, and I've got three volunteers here this evening. So I'm going to back up so that you can see them. So today we have Grunt, and we have Legend, and we have Miss Shadow Ann. Good girl, Miss Shadow Ann. Okay. So the first thing that we're going to demo today is what to do when you have two dogs that are fighting with each other. Okay, so right down, come. So if I had two dogs, the first thing that we do not want to do is to stick our hands between two dogs, okay? Because you can inadvertently be bitten without them realizing they had bit you because they are so involved in the moment. So what you do instead is you safely pick up a back leg. Oh, I can't pick up her back leg. She said her back leg is bothering her. I can't touch her back leg. So I can pick up one back leg and in doing so, it throws off their balance but as soon as you touch that back leg, even if I don't pick up Shiloh's back leg, okay, it's going to get her to turn and look at me. And in a quick reaction, they may turn and try to bite you thinking it's another dog coming in from behind. But by the time they swing around to reach you, you're a little bit far out of reach. Um, and so you have less of chance of getting bit um, in the process. The problem is, is that if you pick up the leg of one dog and stop the fight, it should stop both parties. Sometimes that is not the case. So what you do then is if you continue to hold the other dog, then you can reach around with your other hand and pick up the other dog by the back leg and then you can use you between them and now you have control and you can de-escalate the situation and separate the two dogs. Even if you just need to kind of take them one leg at a time and push one this way, open the door and put that one in another room and then let go of this dog to just give everybody time to calm down and relax, okay? And so I've also seen the method of where you pick up two back legs for the wheelbarrow method, but I'm going to tell you that the wheelbarrow method sometimes just allows them to be able to then use you as momentum to continue to drive forward into the fight. And that is not what we want to do. So it's going to be just picking up one back leg. I don't care which back leg, but when you're behind them, even if they're circling, you have the opportunity to get in and grab a back leg. And you can do so in one to three seconds. You can actually come in and grab one leg and see how he turned and spun and looked at me. Okay, so that was just one leg. And that's exactly what's gonna happen. Then if you need to grab the other dog, all you have to do is spin your body, turn, and you can pull the other dog, okay? But you definitely do not wanna grab the collars. You don't want to stick your hands in between and try to pull them apart. Um, water doesn't work. Um, making loud noises only intensifies the situation. And so banging on something or yelling or anything can actually make the situ situation worse. It is better to remain calm and quiet and to break things up within just a matter of seconds. And doing so, the faster you can get in and the faster that you can get their le one leg each up, the faster the situation is resolved, okay? And now the key is, is going to be in having a great relationship with your dogs and understanding when it turns from an argument and it escalates into a fight. When it is an argument, you can step in and stop the argument by redirecting behavior if they're fighting over a toy, give one dog a toy, the other a toy, take that toy out of the mix, give two different toys, send the dogs on their separate way. Uh, if that does not work and it starts to turn into something more than an argument, then what you're gonna do is pick up one dog by the back leg, 
especially if you can identify the aggressor, stop it before it starts, and then separate the dogs for a little while, then let them come back together with supervised play. Well, I hope that this was very helpful to you in a way to safely stop a fight. If you have any questions, you can reach us on Facebook at www.facebook.com backslash Legend Acres, or you can reach us on our website, www.legendacresboarding.com. And y'all have a great night.